All right, let's finish up this problem, plus figure out a couple things about the genetic code. All right, we enter the genetic code chart. You've got yours there. I've got mine here. Uh, with what? Anticodons. Our first anticodon is UAC. So first base U, second base A. That brings us right to this box right here. And third base C. We bring that on across and we see a double duty codon. And it says meth parentheses start. And so it is a start codon. Now we know a little bit about how the enzymes know where to start. And then after that it uh, codes for uh, amino acid meth. And uh, so we're off to a start here. Then uh, what is the second anticodon? GGG. I think we did that in our little practice uh, ex explanatory video. Well, let's do it again. We have first base G right here, second base G right here. And that brings us to this box right here. And does it make any difference what the third base is? Everything in that box is what? Oh my goodness, PRO. PRO. But this solves a little problem. As we look around the genetic code, we see a lot of repetition. Repetition. I see four pros. Above that, I see four sears. Over, uh, over down below, I see four thrus and four alas. And here's four glys. And here's four arges and two more arges down there. And uh, four loos over here, etc. But we knew that had to be. Something like that had to be. Because how many codons are there when you do 4 times 4 times 4? Well, we know there's 64 codons. But there's only how many amino acids coded for on this chart? Only 20. There's only 20. And so we see now a property of the genetic code. The uh, the big word for that property is this. It is called redundancy. Redundancy. And uh, redundancy is uh, kind of a general word that means more than one way to get the same thing done. There's more than one way to stop your car. Uh, you know, there's the regular brake, the emergency brake, and then there's running into stuff, I guess. Uh, several ways. There's redundancy uh, and ways to stop your car. Well, what is it talking about here in the context of the genetic code? That means there's several code, codons for most amino acids. fact is that first one, meth, is the only one that just has one codon. For all the rest, there are several codons for most amino acids. Several codons for most amino acids. So, the genetic code has redundancy, and that solves our little question here. How can there be 64 codons and only 20 amino acids? Because there are several codons for most of these amino acids, all but actually one. And so that's it, redundancy. Uh, what do we got next? We have anticodon CUU. Well, here's first base C here, second base U. And so that brings us this box right here, right? C, U, and then U. We come over here for the third base. We come across and see what? We see G, L, U. G, L, U. G, L, U. Amino acid G, L, U. All right. One more to go. Anticodon A, U, C. A, U, C. All right. First base A. Second base U across the top here. And third base C, that brings us to what? Oh my goodness, that brings us to a codon that codes, brings us where? Not to an amino acid, but to what? To stop, S-T-O-P. And so there's a stop codon, uh, stop anticodon, and there's, you know, codons, anticodons that code for stop. Now we know how the enzymes know where to stop. But there's not just one stop codon on this chart. Uh, they all, the way the chart is set up, they're all kind of in the same general area. How many codons code for stop and anticodons? Three. And so there are uh, three stop anticodons. Three stop codons. Three stop codons. 
and anticodons. That means only how many codons actually code for amino acids. There's how many codons total? 64. And three are stop codons, nothing else, just stop. So how many of these 64 codons actually code for one of those 20 amino acids? Not all 64. You got to take out the what? You got to take out the three stop codons. So only 61 codons and anticodons code for amino acids. 61 codons code for four amino acids. Not all 64. There's three stop. You got to take those out. And that leaves 61 codons coding for amino acids. All right. So that is our first genetic code problem. Started with what? A DNA codon. We had to find the corresponding messenger RNA codon. Then the tRNA codon, uh, anticodon. And then go to this chart with the tRNA anticodon to find the corresponding amino acid. That's it, folks. All right. Very good.